Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. Tonight, let's go back into the annals of church history and explore one of the 20th century's most famous martyrs. This man abandoned the comfortable American culture in the post-war age and set off to the remote jungles of Ecuador with the heroic mission of bringing the gospel to those who had never heard it. He was Jim Elliot, missionary to the Warani tribe and martyr for the sake of the gospel. Elliot was born in Oregon in 1927 and trusted in Christ as a child. He graduated from Wheaton College in 1949 with a degree in Bible. Elliot was a product of the same evangelical culture as his fellow grad, Reverend Billy Graham, who had graduated just six years earlier and had just begun his famous evangelical crusades in America. Elliot would soon embark on a crusade of his own with several classmates. Their mission, make contact with the completely unreached Warani tribe in Ecuador and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Only three years after he graduated, Elliot and his friends arrived in South America. They learned Spanish in the Ecuadorian capital of Quito, the same place where Elliot and his wife Elizabeth would get married in 1953. Their daughter Valerie was born to them in February of 1955. The five missionaries made friendly contact with the Warani tribe in January of 1956, but then they were misled. On a visit to the tribe on January 8, 1956, all five missionaries were savagely speared to death by tribal leaders. Each of the men were just entering the prime of life. Elliot was only 28 when he died, and he left behind a young widow and a 10-month-old daughter. Why did these men sacrifice everything to be killed? Well, it's pretty simple. They believed the gospel was worth it. Physical comfort, physical safety, and even physical life does not compare to the joy of living in obedience to the call of Christ. These men suffered temporary pain for the sake of eternity, and the Lord blessed their work mightily. Generations later, the surviving family members continued the contact made by Elliot and the others, and many Warani natives trusted in Christ, including some of the tribesmen who had originally murdered the missionaries. Elliot wrote in his journal several years before his death some fateful words that ring true for Christians everywhere who are willing to die for their love for Christ. He wrote this, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain that which he cannot lose. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.